statistics where they're available from the National Bureau of Statistics, they don't show say real estate services sector don't call it be like a 17.18% for the second quarter of the year. The NBS we announced this one for second quarter report for the country gross domestic product and uh, report. Part of the report say for nominal terms, a real estate service for second quarter of 2020 will go down with 17.8% or 19.27% points a day low past the growth rates we've been there reported for the same period for 2019 and a day low with 18.31 percent points if you take compare them to the former quarter and yes so quarter on quarter the sector growth rate done day lower with 1.24 percent and yes so to join us live and abami dele on nalaja and we be ogak patapata for revolution plus property mr bam dele on nalaja will they hail you this scheduled evening Thank you so very much, and I, I hear you too. Thank you, sir. So you join our Bongen News. So, how you see this uh, NBS latest statistics, and we say real estate services sector don't decrease with seventeen point eight percent inside second quarter of the year. Uh, you know, uh, Nigeria Bureau of Statistics don't talk up. Okay. So that's in a bit in a true, eh? mm. because uh, that uh, second quarter we talk to now that time um, COVID nineteen affect the whole uh, world, not the only Nigeria. Mm. So, um, you have said mostly, how is where they call commercial property. Okay. Uh, those ones, eh, because people know they come out, they, they know they come up for house, okay. they know they go anywhere, mm. so their sales drop drastically. Mm. But for residential property, that will do small, Okay. Because the uh, government they talk, they may sit down at home, sit in your house. Mm. Uh, and now, 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 now that essential property, now even F that statistic may be fine, small, if it was mm. than this one. Okay. So the, the COVID 19 has affected not only real estate, but it don't affect all the business within Nigeria and Ubodo Okay. Uh, but uh, some other businesses eh, even do worse more okay. than. Uh, Real estate, real estate is still thrice more. Oh, okay. Seventeen point eight percent now mm. affect them. Okay, because so we, um, mm. as people don't come out, okay. they don't feel do anything online property. People don't feel rent house. Mm. People don't feel buy. Mm. Uh, the materials no feel but other people don't feel supply okay. because supply change day for real estate mm. from artisan goldish uh, uh, people where they supply you material iron cement. So all those ones now mm. affect. Let's say because yeah, they're not come out, they're not fit work, work no day at all. Everybody okay. sit down for hours. So we all so know say affect. so MBS they they are they they, they, they correct, yeah. Okay. So we all know say COVID nineteen uh, really affect many things uh, and even real estate sector. But as real estate sector experts, uh, where you be, how you, you don't take manage this pandemic so far? Well, the pandemic has really affected so many things. It okay. has affected real estate so badly. But the focus of um, my own area of focus in real estate is mostly residential. Okay. For residential properties, where you look at um, houses where people can live in, mm. or land where they can buy and build. Okay. It, it affects, but no even affects so much like that. Oh, okay. Uh, for, okay. For commercial properties, where people where they build their shopping complex, shopping mall, uh, if you go to your love, uh, Lucky, for instance, Lucky Face One Road, mm. go they see shopping complexes everywhere. Okay. People they convert their residential property into commercial okay. property. Not they true. rent them out. Not true. So for that period, they affect them. Oh, okay. It's nobody. But because we we are mostly into residential properties for now, mm. uh, we are doing affordable housing. Okay. And we they do for Revolution Plus. Okay. So okay. it affects us badly, but not no not too much like that. Okay, so now what's the During that COVID 19 period, yeah, yeah. we roll out five new projects. Okay. We, start, we started five new projects for Revolution Plus. Oh, okay. So, for a no die, not too bad like that. Okay, so, so what's the way forward now for real estate people after the pandemic? What's in which other thing are they, they plan after the pandemic for real estate? And we they plan so many things. Okay. Don't forget, say, the, during that period, we did the uh, palliative. Okay. Uh, also, what we expect the government to do, the government is to step into real estate, and they've been doing that. Okay. Um, the real estate development organization of Nigeria, Red Dan, which mm -hmm. I'm the chairman of Lagos. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, the Red Dan national body with a plan, say, maybe build 
100 units of houses okay. in each local government in Nigeria. Okay, okay. So we, uh, we want to, do each unit local, local government, we have, we have 774 local government for the Obodo Nigeria. Okay. So we want to build 7,000 houses for mm. each local government. Where go they afford uh, it? Okay, okay. Each local government could get 100 houses. Mm. So that's to and we are we go they said this that those houses are giving prices. Okay. So that, that one go good well well. Live in there. Okay. And um, those are part of what we are planning mm. so that we can cushion the effect of uh, this COVID nineteen thing. Now what the uh, plan like we said, rather they do they're very good. Okay. Thank God say no back plan this one. Okay, and the plan we read and they do, they're very good so that people go fit, get affordable housing after this uh, post uh, COVID period so that uh, things go there all right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Bamidele on knowledge. I will be the pata of Revolution Plus Property and the chemo of uh, Redan. Thank you, sir. Make you get a bonga evening. Thank you.